Hi, I'm Mary Poplin with Boris FX, and let's talk a little bit more about what we can do with Mocha shapes. So let's talk about animating shapes. Creating new shapes is as easy as using the XBLINE or Bezier tool, which creates a new layer every time you make a new shape. You can add to an existing layer with the Add to XBLINE tool to grab some more texture. An example of using this technique is to avoid reflections, or a finger swiping over a screen. I can change where the shape is looking by animating the shape across my scene first and then turn the tracker on and track between my keyframes. Or I can simply change the shape as I track if an occluding object gets in the way. I can change how many points a shape has by using the Add Points to Spline tool and this will not affect my track. I can add and remove shapes to a layer to get more texture for a few frames and then delete them again and continue my track. Everything about the shape is mutable. I can use shapes as holdout mats for other tracking layers, simply by stacking foreground shapes in the layers above shapes that define background areas. If I create mocha shapes around my foreground elements first, I will always have holdout mats as I track background elements below them. If I stack a large shape over a smaller shape, the track is canceled out because the larger shape conceals where the tracker is looking entirely. If you've ever been tracking and seen your shape either stand still or jump off screen, this might be the reason why. This is a feature of the layer order is user defined and it's one of the easiest ways to track a complex scene. I can also change any parameters while I track to get around tricky lighting changes or if I notice my track skewing in an undesirable way, jumping from translation scale and rotation to translation only for a few frames and then back to translation scale and rotation once I am past the difficult tracking area. I can even track similarly moving objects if a track goes off screen and push my track off screen in a way that matches the camera motion. Just be creative! What would normally be considered offset tracking in any other piece of software is everyday tracking inside of Mocha. If you have any questions, please find out more at www.borisfx.com.